Did you hear? Democrats are just as upset about the Trump indictment as MAGA Republicans. Just kidding. But you wouldn't know it if you watched this clip. Yes, absolutely. Everyone should rally behind President Trump, but not just because this is outrageous what happened, because he is the best choice and the best person and the most qualified to serve this country faithfully as president again in 2024. Whether you're Republican, Democrat, we're seeing people come across the board and say, this is enough. We want to support President Trump. We're happy. We have a big tent to take in anybody who wants to actually vote for him for all the right reasons, because he's the most qualified and he will do the best job. And we know that already that was kimberly gilfoyle foyle foyle whatever her name is uh donald trump jr's girlfriend who famously said the best is yet to come remember that and then they lost the election um she's on the news talking about how people are coming across i guess basically implying the democrats are coming to the trump side because they're upset about the trump indictment I haven't heard any like actual Democrat be upset about the Trump indictment. And let's just really take one second to think about the Trump indictment. Just for one second, the man committed a crime. So an indictment should come with that crime. That was one of many crimes he's committed. But no matter who you are, you should be indicted for the crimes you commit. So whether you're Republican or Democrat, we should agree to that. But the fact that these people are still delusional and they think that Uh, Donald Trump should not be indicted, and they think that he is some messiah type. Um, Marjorie Taylor Greene famously has said that um, other people who've gone to prison included Nelson Mandela and Jesus. So she's implying that Donald Trump is Jesus. I don't know where these guys come up with all this crap, because Donald Trump is like the most opposite of Jesus you could ever imagine. But that's beside the point. But then she goes on and says, we have a, a big tent. We want to welcome all kinds of people. Um, ignoring the fact that Republicans have been going after the LGBTQ community, uh, been trying to scare people with all kinds of uh, transgender issues, forgetting the fact that the uh, Dem- that the Republicans, the MAGA Republicans, have been going uh, after uh, minorities, uh, forgetting the fact that Donald Trump has famously been very uh, bigoted. None of that stuff means anything because in her mind, They have a white tent and they're welcoming everybody. Uh, No, you don't. But again, these people are delusional. So here's yet another one talking right here. Check this out. It was amazing there last night. And and, uh, his uh, his speech was great. It was what it was. uh, uh, All the attacks, you know, everything they've done now, I think it just solidifies the 2024 election. It, it, It unified it unified the people. I talked to people that are on the left, uh, friends of mine that are Democrats and liberals, and they said the same thing. What a sham. And that was another one of the crazy MAGA folks, Mike Lindell, the pillow guy, saying that he actually has uh, liberal friends who have come to him and said that the indictment was a sham, the whole trial is a sham. No matter what happens with this trial, by the way, it hasn't happened yet, but no matter what happens, the fact is for a district attorney to bring a case of this type against the former president, there's something that happened. Um, And we saw that all the counts that they brought against Donald Trump, there was some serious stuff there. And so you have to go to trial. If we're not going to live in a country where even the president can be held accountable, then we're living in a dictatorship. So again, whether he's a Democrat or Republican, I would be supportive of these indictments happening. By the way, this is not going to be the only indictment. There's going to be indictment probably coming down from Georgia for his, quote unquote, another perfect phone call uh, where he asked for extra votes to win the election. There's probably going to be another uh, case coming down uh, from the Justice Department for his classified document. There's a lot of stuff coming down the line. So these delusional bozos are kind of setting themselves up to say this is all a sham. No matter what happens, Donald Trump is always right. I wish, you guys, that we had actual people who were a little more level-headed that we could listen to and actually have a debate with. But these people are so cuckoo from your Mike Lindells to Kimberly Guilfoyles, et cetera, et cetera. Then these are the people that are representing Donald Trump. It's the whole, it's a circus. And uh, here we are. The indictment happened um, and uh, there will be more indictments coming down and it's not a sham. It's legit. So uh, let's tune in and see what happens. All right. I'm Maz Jobrani. Check out my YouTube special. It's called the birds and the bees. It's for free. Check it out. Hope you enjoy it. And I hope to see you on the road. Take care.